it's all I could ever ask for. And just to see like this is is amazing. Left side towards the back. Yeah, Matt Brooks, Snuggets.com. Uh, Jamal, you kind of talked throughout the run about uh, you know playing in your driveway, counting down, you know, winning the championship. What, how did, what does it feel actually doing it? Uh, did you think about that at all, or, or just really just compare the situations? Um, no, I, I really didn't. <coughs> I really didn't try to think about it. Um, I just wanted to stay. I just wanted to stay focused. You know, um, I think that's why I missed so many shots early. It was just so so much adrenaline. Like you know, you want to end it on your home court with all the fans there, your family there. You want to end it on the home court so bad. Um, I just felt my shot like I was. Um, overshooting so much that it was short um and every shot was short um that's just uh forget whatever um that's just a me problem but like i said that, that adrenaline kicks in and you want to do something so bad that's why i was able to go to halftime and just calm down and reset myself and do whatever the team needs to be to to get the win um what was the question okay all right all right next question <laughs> Brandon on the right side, standing up. Hey, hey Jamal, Brandon Kristoff from KOA here in Denver. You kind of touched on the buzz as it built up to the finals and Kyle Freeland wearing your jersey and seeing him at dinner. Shout out to Kyle. You've been here for a, a long time now. What does it mean to bring home the first championship for this franchise and these fans? Oh, uh, man, I mean, you could hear it in the crowd. <clears throat> um, just the excitement. You know, we have a, the best home court for a reason. I just felt like, you know, all season long, even the past couple seasons, we were hurt. Um, you know, they were just there for us. When, when we didn't have the energy, they brought us energy. They gave me energy. Like, um, they gave me energy to come out and, sh and, and do an arrow or make a couple shots or show a little bit more um, emotion than normal. You know, like, they would help, really help me go, and that's why everybody loves to play at home. Um, I can't, you know, shout these fans enough. I'm just so happy for the city of Denver, um, Cronkies. Um, you know, we we really, really earned this one. And, uh, yeah, it's it's surreal to see it through. It's tough to answer these questions right now. Vinny in the center, third row. <coughs> Vinny Benedetto with the Denver Gazette. Jamal, Nicola famously said that he expected you to suck for the first 20 games of the regular season, and there was all the talk about, is Jamal back, is he not back? How, how, how frustrating was that for you to deal with, and does that make this moment even sweeter to kind of have people, I guess, questioning your ability to return? Yeah, um, I knew I was going to suck for the first few games. Like, I, I had to live with that. I, I knew I wasn't going to put up 40, 50 points in the first couple games. I always say, if you go back to the first game in Utah, I, I picked up the ball in the paint like five times I could count. Like, I, I was so lost. Um, I had never felt being that lost on the court before. I just didn't want to go into the paint um, or jump or land or uh, feel contact and um, just how far I've come from that moment. You know, I still have different moments where I, I'm tentative, best word for me to put it, um, to do certain actions, you know, rebounding among everybody or, um, but I've just gotten so much better at that and just putting that behind, you know, not just me, um, Mike too. You know, I think Mike, I shout out to Mike. He's gone through so many different injuries and just to see him constantly um, stay locked in, be a team player and grow his game um, in different aspects to have an all around game, you know, even if he's not shooting well. Uh, it's just really great to see the growth of this team. And um, yeah, that first game in Utah, I was, I was, uh, I don't want to say scared because I wasn't, I was confident, but I was so tentative in everything I was doing. And to see from that game to this game, to the finals game where I've come, it's just, um, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just happy for myself. Ohm on the left here. Uh, Ohm Young, so he has been. Congrats, Jamal. Appreciate it. Um, there's all this negativity for whatever reason surrounding the MVP race around Jokic and people talking about stat padding and even race. What is there left to say about him now that he has a championship and finals MVP? And what do you think winning a championship with Jokic, you two, what is that going to do for you guys now moving forward into the future? I mean, you know, uh, I've seen a picture of uh, Yoke and MB running for MVP, and um, Yoke keep, keeps running. And it just, I think that just speaks so much to what his mindset is. Like, you know, I got mad at him today in the game because he kept passing the ball. Like, I hit him in the pocket, he has a floater, and he passed it out of bounds, turnover. I'm like, bro, just shoot it. But that's just part of him. You know, like, that's, that's just his game. And that's what makes us so good is you have, to, even when he's open and guys are late, you still have to guard him and guard everybody else. Um, 
Yeah. We're just an all-around team. You got to guard every single person that is on the court, whether they can shoot or not, finish or not. Everybody's a threat. Um, and we play so unselfish, giving each other spacing, giving each other um, different looks, um, knowing that the ball has energy and it will find you uh, when the time is right. You know, I, think, um, I keep bringing up Mike. I thought he was amazing today. You know, I, I didn't shoot well early. Yoke didn't score early. Um, you know, a couple calls didn't go our way. And Mike just, we just told him, hey, this is your night. You know, no matter what happens, this is your night. And uh, we just tried to make an effort to get him going, and, and he took advantage of it. And, um, you know, he kept us in the game for a minute or the first half or whatever. I don't know. Um, he was just aggressive all night. And that just speaks to our team. You know, wanting to see each other succeed. Aaron Gordon guarding the best player every night, um, knowing that he wants to shoot some step back threes here and there. We said, no, get, you, get your ass in the dunker, dunk the ball play defense, we can win a championship, and he's just so unselfish, man. He's just, uh, like, everybody played a pivotal part. You know, Yoke is the finals MVP, and rightfully so, and deserving, and he makes everybody connect, and everybody want to win being so unselfish. And I thought, you know, down the line, everybody was so unselfish for us to get this done. Standing on your right. <clears throat> Jamal. Uh, first off, congratulations. Uh, Brandon Ewing, Denver Stiffs. Um, ever since you stepped foot in Denver, Michael Malone's been your head coach. And uh, you, you two embraced him on the court at the end of the game. Just talk about how special that moment was for you, for both you, and you guys have obviously been through so much, just how special it is to go through this journey with him. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think for the biggest thing for us, you know, I came off the bench backing up Gary. Um, I, I just think he, he had continual trust in my game and what I'm trying to do out there and that you know when I'm when I'm bringing the energy making shots or not um he he trusts me to make the right play out there and uh you know I got out of him sometime during the season like hey uh we're not we're not your little kids anymore you know we're we're, we're grown men and um if we make a mistake just just come talk to us just come, come talk to us and um you know when we weren't that good he had to have that kind of authority and defensive mindset and just get honest and, and and pull it out of us now. It's like we know what we need to do to win. We know what to expect from each other, and we can get get on each other um, to push each other to be better. And I thought he did. He's not just this year, but each year that we've been together, he's grown it and just how to handle us. And I think that's so important. Um, the way you handle people in the locker room, on and off the court, and he's done uh, an amazing job of just keeping us positive, coming to timeouts, keeping us positive, moving on to the next play when we make a mistake. Um, Shout out to Ryan Saunders, shout out to DA, um, David Adelman. Um, yeah, he's the worst coach ever. No one should take him. <laughs> so just, he's horrible. He, uh, he's disrespectful. Um, he sucks. And um, yeah, so he's not going anywhere. Shane, third row in the center. Jamal, Shane on the fourth sports. Now that you won the title, I guess how, how critical has the team camaraderie here been in order to get to this point? Um, yeah, I, I, I was, the best word for me to say is, um, Unselfish and, and having trust in each other, you know. But the biggest thing is when we give each other spacing to work, we allow the defense to make mistakes or, or our reads to, to happen. And so, you know, AG just staying patient, knowing that he's going to benefit when the action's done. Um, Mike staying patient, knowing that when Yoke rolls, they have to tag and he has one of the best corner wing shooters in the league, like he's going to benefit. Um, uh, if they double me, I don't need to force it. Like I just hit yoke in the pocket and let the play happen. Um, KCP playing defense, knowing that we're gonna give him a touch here and there and find him in transition. You know, uh, CB just doing everything he needs to do to stay on the court. And Jeff, Jeff just being just being the vet, honestly. Um, uh, DJ knowing that he's not gonna get in the game too much, but just I mean talking to me, not just on the court but off the court, keeping me locked in. And um, like it's just down the line, everybody everybody had a had a role to play in in, in this. Um, in our success, and uh, I'm just so happy for our guys. We, we really did this shit together. Uh, third row here on the right side. I need a champagne. Come on. Hi, Jamal Jackna from Dominican Republic. Where you at? Oh, okay. Congratulations. Thank you. One year ago, your rehab process was a journey. Now you get the championship. A lot of people is out there thinking and give it up. What do you have to say? <laughs> Um, you know, I have to say that I had my doubts as well, and that's just natural. Uh, somebody asked me about butterflies, like you're, that's what makes you alive. You know, that's what makes you care. Um, when you when you doubt yourself, that's that's what makes you try to find a way to turn it around. Um, 
in whatever sport and whatever injury and whatever career that you're in, when you go through adversity, you know, it's, it's how you, how you envision your and visualize yourself at the end of it. Um, uh, Zach, Zach Levine was a big help in just, um, we, we talked throughout the rehab and we were still rehabbing at the time. So just, I'm asking, are you still doing this? Is, are you still doing this? Uh, what should I feel? What do I expect? Um, Gallo, Old Depot, uh, Clay, um, like all those guys have shown that you can do it. And I just wanted to be another guy to be an inspiration for those little kids um, that have, even at those young ages, have gone through some adversity. Um, you know, that when you put your mind to it, um, that will take care of itself. It's just the mindset that you have to have. And I've been such a big mindset guy growing up. <coughs> um, it's just crazy to see it through, you know, off ACL. You know, this is this is fresh. You know, this is a year out of, of playing, not having a year to, or a summer to really work on my game. Um, you know, I th there's just there's more to come for me, and I just know that if I can do this off, fresh off of ACL, still having sore days and everything like that, you know, I, we we can do we can do this again. Thank you and congratulations, Jamal. Appreciate it. You're my man right there. <laughs> That's it for the room. Thank you, everyone. Safe